But as well as the great poets behind this book, I've been just as overwhelmed by all the friends, family, and even strangers who supported it. This book was a successful project on the Irish public funding website, Funded, something that's becoming ever more popular with the increasing Arts Council cuts, where even musical artists such as Julie Feeney um, use it to raise money towards producing records. There are 50 funders involved in this book, so I won't name them all, but uh, they're all in the acknowledgements of the book. And so thank you, each and every one of you, uh, for being part of this book. Uh, you're brilliant. Um, so, and I'm yeah, really proud of this book. You know, thank you so much, Jesse, for producing such a beautiful book. I'm so glad this came out with Sam, who were the original publishers um, for it. And uh, yeah, just done such a brilliant job. And yeah, I knew you were right for it from the start. It's a salmon, salmon knowledge, so hands to the salmon. Um, and the great cover design, Siobhan Hudson, you know, put in the typesetting, the layout, and Siobhan has been wonderful all through this. A real collaborator, you know, especially during the food food stage and, and everything, so that really means a lot. And it's also very touching that an old friend from Sussex, which is where I'm from, um, Hans Diebschlag, provided the wonderful front cover painting, um, which is from the Battle of Matura. Um, and I found Hans' painting by chance, and as, as well as uh, immediately loving it for its burst of colour and intricate detail, detail, I couldn't believe how perfectly it fitted with the book's title and theme, beautifully capturing the contemporary shaking hands of the ancients. And also a big thank you to Miriam Logan, uh, who provided the evocative Celtic paintings, which illustrate new, each new chapter. Uh, it's added a lovely dimension to the book, and even phrasing my name. Um, in Ohm, which is, which is wonderful, the Celtic tree alphabet. Uh, and I hope we've got them around the right way as well. There was a problem where they had to be read from the bottom up, of course. And uh, so there's a problem with it being upside down and trying to translate that to Siobhan was, was quite interesting at times. And thank you to an old friend, Louise Sheridan, uh, for the wonderful flute pieces and, and learning this piece, uh, which I know from Joyce's The Dead. Um, which is, I find, the most beautiful, haunting piece, and you really captured that. So, and, and you learnt it within a few days, which is extraordinary, so thanks so much for playing that. Um, she's just going to finish with the piece as well. And thank, finally, thank you to my partner in life, Paul McGlinchey, who, as I say in the book, is very much my first eyes and ears with all my work, and I'd be blind without her. So, very much, I hope you I'm just going to finish, I said I'm going to read a poem, I'm going to read a poem, um, but not a poem from the book. Um, it's one that has a personal resonance for me, and the first few lines are quoted in the dedication. It's called Kinsale, it's not the better known Kinsale, by Derek Mutton, which is on the Leaving Cert syllabus, uh, but by Desmond O'Grady, uh, going back to the poet, poet where it all started. And on the surface it's a very simple poem, a small lyric, that mixes Kinsale's ancient past, it's lost in translation name, and its defining battle where Gaelic Order died, but it also touches on the attractively colourful, prosperous resorts that Kinsale is today. And this convergence of something old and new becomes the poem's alchemy of transformation and resurrection. In this way, Kinsale becomes not just a place, but a state of mind. Kinsale. Excuse my Irish pronunciation. Curing Toilia or Quinn Toilia. Quiet of the sea or head of the ocean. Either way, home haven. Here we all live, blowings, exiles, or exiles from exile. And we love our ease, our idleness. You would too if you lived here among us. The Bandon River finds sea exit here. Atlantic spawning salmon entrance. Kinsale origins flowered beyond the ice sphere, which makes of time and history a nonsense. Here, Celtic alternative order fought, died, 161, left us island's modern divide. We sleep side by side together, enjoying harmonies just measure, without weapons on display for war. Thanks very much, guys.